shooting from six in the morning. They still joke about it. I came out on the set. And when I seen him, I, you know, I had two cups of coffee in my hand. I threw the cups of coffee. I said, God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> Stuff that you could blind out when trip on. Those stars on the beret. Mm. See? Yeah, they got to get rid of that. You know what I'm saying? That implies also like leadership. You know what I'm saying? Everything is political. Wardrobe, clothing, everything. You know what I'm saying? I had to be on point for this. You know what I'm saying? They had him like, well, like he was leadership or something. You know what I'm saying? And see, you go look at the movie Jews and Black Messiah, you look at it closely. There are no scenes where it was just him and Chairman praying together by themselves. No scene. We've done that intentionally. Because contrary to the narrative that's put out, he was never Chairman Fred's security. Never. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so look. Yeah, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. We, um, we had to fight for that. You know what I'm saying? And it's cause it was stuff in the part history that Chairman did very clear. See, this is a structure. And even the script, it was like, hey, man, hey, Fred, hey, Brother Bill. We, this is a structured organization. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference to the word term, friend and comrade. You know what I'm saying? There's people who I got to deal with my own. This who I don't like personally. But this is a structured, it's a revolutionary structured organization. You clear? Yeah. Right on. Right on. And I do have an issue with that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But checks and balance. Also, it's, this is an international organization, y'all. France, uh, 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 what's that name? Brazil. We got chapter, you know what I'm saying? And, um, the program she mentioned, they, they, they implement internationally. Right okay, right on. Then some, some other uh, scenes from the movie. Go ahead, young man, with your question. I'm listening while I'm listening. So, in the movie, you, uh, in the movie, uh, what is war, politics, and bloodshed? Mm -hmm. What is politics, war without bloodshed, right? Mm -hmm. When did that happen? Was that here? So, you see, when did that quote happen? When they were in the, um, when Fred Hampton was teaching the class. Which, no, 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 the chairman. The chairman. Fred the chairman Hampton. was, no, this is the house he grew up in. So, when did that scene happen? The, no, no, that was depicted, okay, for value, they, Hollywood has some creative input, too, though. Yeah. That was the, the, the political education, PE. That's something, see, political education. You just couldn't run around until you don't remember back in the party. You know what I'm saying? We use the Freedom on Radio to this day for, for, for that. Political education class, you have to go through six weeks of political education before you can be considered some member of the Black Panther Party. That's part of the political education, you know what I'm saying? Amen. This is his home we grew up in. So the, black, the political education that occurred, you know what I'm saying, sometimes in the church, you know, the church, people's church, uh, 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 sometimes uh, 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 informed his office. Yeah, that's one of the most powerful parts of the movie, honestly, to me. Hmm. That fact that he was actually teaching, like, that man, the process. Well, yeah, that's just right on you acknowledge that, because political education is, 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 is imperative. Mm -hmm. It's imperative. <laughs> Anybody else? Give me some more questions. Um, can, can you give us a little bit more about the Black Panther Party? Like, can you give them, so what they're going to do, maybe it might be helpful for you to understand this part, but, so it's going to be a showcase, right? And the showcase is going to have four different parts, four different vignettes, and the first one is focused really on, like, a violation of, of black home places and like I said, the bodies within those uh, spaces. And so I, I really want them to understand like almost every detail of what happened December 4th, 1969. Oh, you don't know recommend y'all do too? Um, remember, uh, you ever heard this group, Lyric? Yeah. You heard of Lyric? I know about Lyric. Yeah. Who is You know about Lyric? Yeah. Yeah, you need to mention you Kayla, yeah. right? Yeah. You know that piece that, I, that you ever seen that this is on, on YouTube? Yeah. That piece they done, I, yeah. you know, I, I use that. Uh, so uh, it's a piece that, that, that the lyric they did they, they wrote down December fourth. They did it for not, yeah. So we can pull that too. Get that. Um, I recommend. I recommend in a real creative way they broke down phenomenally what happened December fourth. Okay. Um, uh, Y'all about around their age too though. But okay. But for the time being, uh, you you you, you want me to give you what? So so. Yeah, just, you know, as, what descriptive, occurred? Okay. As, as descriptive as possible, what happened December 4th? Okay, West Side of Chicago. Um, West Side of Chicago, 2337 West Chairman Fred Hathaway. The um, federal government uh, armed with a floor plan so detailed, they even knew what a pack of cigarettes might be at in the apartment. They had a floor plan in the apartment. They had came, they had uh, cut all the um, 
lights up on the west side of Chicago. The black lights up on the west side of Chicago. I need y'all attention, brothers. I need y'all attention. I need y'all attention, brothers. They cut the lights up on the west side on the west side of Chicago. One guy had told me, um, probably use a hot coffee or something, man. I'll be good. All right. Um, they had um came and cleaned up the spots, the drugs, the, the, uh, the drug spots. They they wiped um members of his staff. Were placed, placed in isolation, you know what I'm saying, different places in Cook County Jail. Um, they, uh, the YMCA had took a group of young brothers who done unofficial security for chairman and sent them out of town on a winter retreat. They, the police came in Illinois bail phone trucks. They, they came in, they pulled the other occupants from outside their homes. So the, the, the homes pulled out and they put these mattresses, some like mattresses up inside the, the different windows, you know, the different uh, apartments on the, on the block and um they came to the uh, back in the front and the police and they knocked and said you know who, uh, the argument said who's there and the police said Tommy said Tommy who they said, they said Tommy gun and they, Tommy said Tommy gun they started shooting in they immediately shot and assassinated the defense captain Mark Clark because the comrades said the most it could have been a um a, a spasm uh a, a, a response and they continued shooting the other arguments said stop shooting stop shooting a pregnant sister here and they, um, my mother's beef for the shells from the mattress. This, this uh, oh, this right here. This is the dirt from the grave. Of Deputy Minister of Health, Doc Satchel. He was one of the survivors, but he got hit out of the, the most out of the survivors. Um, the other, other, other survivors: uh, uh, True Lock, uh, Harold Bell, China Dow, Linda Brewer, and Blair Anderson. But they went into the room and they pulled my mother to be. They pulled her out of the room. And uh, I'm tripping. I just told this story earlier today. I'm just, uh, this was, uh, I'm tripping. What I'm saying and telling that it's like echoing to me. But they had pulled out the room, and they opened a robe, robe so you had a pregnant bra, and they put this, this uh, Polish revolver to her stomach. And um, they went inside the room, and he uh, says, so "Belly alive, belly, belly make it now." And he fired several more shots, and so he's good and dead now. And uh, they took her and other survivors and they gave them uh, trumped up charges, Comrade pointed out earlier. And as I've mentioned a lot of times, that was my prenatal care. That was the first piece of steel I came into contact with, uh, that police department was involved with. That was my first jail study, uh, December 4, 1969. She, she had just turned 19 a few days prior to that. Uh, yeah, December 4, that morning. And again, they was giving trumped up charges. And she was subsequent, they were subsequent, uh, she got it on bail. It was released, you know, right before, before I was born. Yeah. Can I say something? Please, go ahead. <laughs> um, I did mention a, a, our annual events. IRD, International Revolutionary Day, is also one of our annual events. That's every um, December the 4th. So we commemorate and honor the life of Chairman Fred and commemorate the assassination. Oh. Hey, I got a question. So in the movie, they, um, they basically the dude that basically the dude that got that so called got Fred killed or whatever. They had oh, Chairman oh, Fred. Uh, oh, oh, forgive me, I'm not I'm even sorry. tripping. I wish we could take some like other. You couldn't play with in Nazi Germany. I subconscious you would never walk and say when they gassed them people whatever they did to them over there. The you you won't be so flipping with it. You know what I'm saying? And little brother, little brother, little brother in the back, little brother in the back. Oh, the feel, feel, feel me on this here. I need some respect, man, right. for this motherfucking legacy. Oh, right. forgive me. That's forgive right. me, brother. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. Real talk. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to cut no corners with y'all, man. I know this is a generation that's been deprived of structure. I feel I sympathize for you. One of America's policies is to create chaos, then restore order. We, you know what I'm saying? The terms how it's referred to. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? This is a, something... That you, Malcolm X said, you know, a man, I'm paraphrase, a man or woman who stands for nothing will fall for anything. Right on. A lot of community, you know what I'm saying? You can't sell this slop pop to other people, other, other people. You, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't sell them type of toys or to bitch y'all earn to other type of people. It's a disrespect. I'm talking to the Vanguard Party, an organization that stood up. This guy named Daryl Hamilton, he's called him G Man, got shot with a police 15 times December 2nd, 2002, on 72nd in uh, Dorchester. We went there, we shut it down, we protested. The newspaper couple on called him Daryl Hamilton. His name was Daryl Hamilton. I was at a press conference, let me explain why y'all keep calling him Daryl Hamilton. 
I said, the reason you keep calling him Daryl Hampton is because you think I got to be related to him. I don't know him from a can of paint. You know what I'm saying? And that's important to understand, to understand that we fight for our people. Don't, not because you're my cousin, you know what I'm saying? We, this organization, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Assassinate, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you, 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 respect, you know what I'm saying? Assassinate, you know what I'm saying? Other communities, they, they demand it, you know what I'm saying? It impacts how we view each other, you know what I'm saying? And even our people, the terms we use, we don't call our people dope fiends, the strong guys, the heights, the you know what I'm saying, strawberry. They're demoralized, you know what I'm saying? The terms we use, see, terms are political. When the United States went in, in, in Vietnam, they was killing Vietnamese people, they called them, v, they called them VCs, you know what I mean? It took away the humanity from them. Watch the interview when they interview Mr. Uri Pino and say, what do you think about the Viet Cong? Mr. Uri Pino didn't even respond to that. He said, you said with the Vietnamese people? When they went to Somalia, they said they were killing skinnies, not Somalians. Skin, you know, that just takes away the humanity from them. You know what I'm saying? The, it, it takes the terms you use. You know what I'm saying? It's a Steven Spielberg in a movie called uh, Schiller's List. You heard of it? So years back, the black children was in the movie laughing. They in Oakland. They shut that motherfucker down. They shut it down. They said, hold on, call him back. Steven Spielberg. Said, yeah. He said, come we should respect with our people. They were so, it's a movie called Schindler's List. It's a scene where they got Neil Nissen, when the Nazi gas chamber officers, he's smoking a cigarette. They made him smoke a cigarette over and over in the scene. Because he wanted to smoke to go up to show you the wind, the way from the gas chamber, which way it was going. You know what I'm saying? That's how detailed good people are about their people, their community. You know what I'm saying? Their legacy, you know what I'm saying? I'm comfortable talking with y'all when you talk to each other, eye to eye contact, respect. You know what I'm saying? Your body language is important. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about a group of brothers and sisters from 14 to 24 years old. 14, how do you, how do you? 21, I just turned 14 to 20, they stood up. Minister Doc Satchel, they talk about him today in Vietnam right now. Right now. They're to a first free medical centers. Do you heard of tuberculosis? Do you heard that? They weren't, no, they weren't tripping on that because the black people were the ones impacted by that. They were doing, excuse me, excuse me, sickle cell anemia, excuse me, I'm, I'm moving too fast. Sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia. They was going door to door testing with our, with our people. You know what I'm saying? The free breakfast program. They said, well, black children's grades just not up to par, they just had to go. The black parents probably said, no, no, no. They said, anybody that's going to school hungry can't engage in no terminal education. You know what I'm saying? They had a free breakfast when you came there. You came to the free breakfast program. The only prerequisite, the only criteria you needed to do was what? Be hungry. Show up, you home. When you came there, Asada Sakura, she talks about it in her book. She say, the little brother put the pancakes in his pocket. When he, she said, hold on. You can't steal from this. You know why? Because it's yours. It's yours. Yeah. Right it's your program. You know what I'm saying? Right on. You have, you have some, you, 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 you know this. It impacts you different. I told her, guys, you ain't got to wear no, no, no Gotti, no, no Al Capone shirts. Huh? I'm talking about real models. I'm talking about, man, you ever heard of Sekou Odinga? You ever heard of Sekou Odinga? No, sir. Sekou Odinga. Sekou Odinga. Remember this name. He just passed the day when I was in Africa, about a month ago. They call him the movie Spider-Man. You don't need no motherfucking no cartoon character. They, man, they, 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 they try to drown him in the toilet stool in the, in the police station in New York. He climbed down the drain to escape. He locked. He got locked up for helping the Sala Shakur. You remember him about them jails? Hmm. I bet you I get you. I bet you. I bet you. Got you I bet you I get you on this one. That's who one of his sons is. Yah, Gaddafi, Tupac's main man. Yeah, that's what. That, yeah, that was his son. Hmm. Man, his one of his other sons, Dada G. Dada, I'm talking with Dada G a few weeks ago. Said Cool was on the run. Dada G, remember when his mother, the how she touched his shoulder as a baby? That meant his father was outside. He would go get in the van, get up under the cover of the rest of his siblings. You know what I'm saying? Without a word being said. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no back and forth, no, you know what I'm saying? Discipline. He's a man who's on run, but he's still going to check up on his children. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of dynamic that you know, people stay. This is man. You need to know this. I'm not ego tripping. I'm not trying to say, you know, I ain't trying to sell this shit to you, man. The, you, your chest should be up when you mention their names, man. Real talk. Real talk to you. Your chest should be up. You should, come, go to the. To it's another community and watch it, watch they mention the, 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 their respective people, you know what I'm saying? He, the main cut, main code. Watch they talk about El Chapo. Go look at them videos. They say, well, pride. He don't even look, he don't even look revolutionary. I'm oh, talking to revolutionaries, man. Now proceed what you're saying. Wow. 
I apologize. No, no, we're going to turn call self-critical. You know, you know, you know, you know, all love, no harm taken. And, and, and in, your, in your defense, in your defense, in your defense, I know a lot of times this is just, again, it's, it's common, you know what I'm saying, that that structure, you know what I'm saying, and to have something, you know what I'm saying, that's why I'm, that's why my passion is to, to let you know, you know what I'm saying, and we still, and a lot of people say, what y'all doing right now? We getting down right now, but a lot of people don't tell you about it to say to talk about it, you know you, 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 you know about Wheaties cereal? You yeah, yeah. They had these commercials. Wheaties boxes to put any famous athletes they put them on, on a Wheaties box. They was interviewing somebody from Wheaties one time. They say, 19, it's 1988, they put Muhammad Ali on there. They said, why you put him on there now? Why you put him on there back then? You know they said? We do it now because he's safe. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know the word draft mean? You know, you know, I don't know the NFL draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was, what was the draft? What I'm talking about? When when the uh, Vietnam War was going, they was forcing you to go they fight. Was you they forcing you. And if you didn't go, you was going to jail. Going to jail. Judge, and one of the largest drafts they had was in California one time. I think six, July '69, because they anticipated some uprising to go up. What did Ali say? They told him to go to jail to go fight. He wasn't going. He wasn't going, huh? To see. This was no, they this was no more time when you was fighting to get no more from Kaepernick, no goddamn job, no quarterback. Right you know? on. The, the dog, the script was flipped. Well, the athletes that said, no, I do like with you. You know what I'm saying? The script was flipped. Huh? James Brown had a whole totally different song playing at first. You think, what, what he wants to go see on Black and I'm Proud? You ever heard of H.R. Brown? Say it one more time. H.R. Brown. H.R. Brown. Not only is he male, you know what I mean? One of the longest held political principles. No, he, he, one of the most charismatic representatives of our movement. He locked up right now. H.R. Brown drove it out on and said, man, you better go back in the studio with that garbage you're talking about. James Brown came back out to it on Black and I'm Proud. It was a climb with Marvin Gaye. When it gets Barry Gordon, Motown Rex, I'm going to put this song out, what's going on, what you like. You know what I'm saying? It was a, the ante was up. It was spray paint all over this community. Asada, you're welcome to come out here with us. Huh? It was a different, people view prison different. Children went to, with your daddy, he locked up. Your mama, she on the run. It wasn't no, I ain't got no daddy, y'all don't got no mama. You know what I'm saying? Because people was clear with William Thoreau. I don't get heard of William Thoreau. He wrote civil disobedience. He said that there was a clown where people said, well, people, people in an unjust society or in a just place, or a place where a just man, I'm paraphrasing, or just one was prison. How people viewed it was different. You know what I'm saying? People, they relate, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is a difference between revolution and the war. A war is two occupying armies. So you suit up and you put up and you get out and get out. A revolution, you gain the minds of participation of the mass of the people. It was a revolutionary climate. You know what I'm saying? Richard Pryor, he come through. To be chair friends, donate to the free breakfast program. You know what I'm saying? What no stock? DC Young you heard of him? Yeah. You go Google him on his page. Go, 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 go on Instagram page. When he's sitting right there. Right there. Go look at him when he dig that dirt up out there in the front yard, the Hampton House. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. See, these are revolutions that actually happened, but the cut is going down right now. But a lot of people, y'all ain't gonna get to hear about it. That I'm dead and that we dead and gone and say to talk about. This shit is happening right now. Huh? I'm trying to you get to you now, you know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's your question. Don't go for you. So, you know, in the movie, when, when he was assassinated, yes, they were saying um, they were saying he was basically drugged. Yes, sir. So I'm just asking, was that true? Yes. Uh, they had put enough, they had put enough, we had a second uh, independent autopsy on his body, uh, Zuma's body. It was revealed they had put enough, they had, they had put enough Sikinol, enough knockout drugs, and it's for him tonight to technically knock a horse out. Technically, to not technically knock a horse out. Yeah. Yeah. Good question, though. Yeah. So, that that was more than we could <laughs> ask for. Like, that, that's the real, you know. Uh, uh, what, I think one, one lesson from today, and I want to do a, a quick recap session and, and let them eat as well, but one lesson is today is, like, you know, language, you gotta be intentional with the type of, you know, language that you use, right? And so I even teach this in my classes, right? So you don't say, we ain't gonna say uh, Laquan McDonald was, was killed or he died, right? That's passive language that there's no actor that did the killing. Mm -hmm. We wanna say he was he was murdered mm -hmm. and by whom? Mm -hmm. By the Chicago Police mm -hmm. Department. And so uh, one thing that we can assure you is that for this showcase and for the work that we're gonna do with place-based work, we're gonna be intentional about the language that, right. we, that, you know, that we use. Um, and so from here on, so we got 20 minutes. I want, I want to let them eat. Yes. Uh, we can keep asking questions, but I also yes. want to be a, you got a question? I want to ask, I want to ask you, you guys something about. I'm just going to let them swallow you. Huh? Like, uh, 
Thank you all again for being here. Uh, we want uh, my passion is, 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 is sincere, and we need y'all. I, I appreciate you, Doc, but because the ministry of people, our people do not read as much as we would like for them to read. So this, this, the, how y'all incorporating what y'all saying? The, the, the footwork, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? So it's a, we have a thing called a code of culture. We have a thing called a code of culture. And our mantra for the code of culture, our mantra is there are too many of us that sing, sing, but we talking some bling bling. So we want to win people with certain points of unity. The doc, you know what I'm saying? I was critical of me the day we go back to this. You should be doing these different rappers, whatever. But I, I, I appreciate y'all here, so we can tie this in. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this here. I'll make sure you get that, that piece of lyric. Yeah, yeah, I got you. you share yeah. that with her. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank y'all. All right. So, uh, let's see. Real quick. Uh, huh? Over. 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 Where is the? I don't see your chairman, but I'll find. Okay. All right, let me. Um, okay.